Welcome, everybody, to the Morning English Podcast. I'll be your foreign host today, Peter Joseph Kuhn from Boston, Massachusetts, in New England, the northeastern part of America. If you don't know already, I coach CrossFit during the day, and at night, I sing and play guitar. And of course, I have lots of experience teaching English, as I have been in China for like five years now in Changsha, Hunan. <laughs> Welcome, Peter. As you guys know already, I'm your Chinese host from Morning English, Kara. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Kara. It's great to be here. So, if you're ever in Changsha, come to my CrossFit gym called CrossFit Aftershock. You can just search it on Baidu Maps or WeChat locations in English. It's in Hojiatang in Changsha. I will be sure to do that when I get a chance. Absolutely. I promise you, it won't be a lemon. <laughs> so, is that what we're going to talk about today? What's a lemon? Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today. A lemon actually has a lot of meanings, but a common definition for a lemon would be something useless or faulty or defective. Ah, so here the lemon, naturally, is not what we usually mean by lemon. In this case, it means something useless or faulty thing. Could you give me an example? Could you give me an example? Ah, sure. An example sentence would be like. This car looks great on the outside, so I bought it. But I realized it was a total lemon. Get it? Oh poop! <laughs> <laughs> so like it does not work as well as it should. Yeah, exactly. So, 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 I've heard other people say that a person can be a lemon too, like sour and bitter, because of the lemon's taste. It can be used to describe a person's personality.、Mm, an example of this would be like, "Man, you were just such a lemon to that nice guy at the store. He was just trying to help." Don't be such a lemon. Ah,、uh, so this word, it this time, is like mean, right? Mm, yeah, exactly. 差不多啊。Like sour, like bitter and sour. 啊、uh, ，就是又酸又苦，这个人搞得很尖酸。这个时候呢，你就可以用 lemon 这个词来形容一个人。你可以讲 Don't be such a lemon. Stop being lemon. Stop, stop being a lemon. Stop being a lemon. 因为 lemon 是一个 noun， 是一个名词形式啊，所以也可以用来形容一个人。So it can be used in this way as well. That's very interesting. Hmm. Exactly. So it is an interesting phrase, and it has been around actually for more than a hundred years. I did a little digging, and I found that in the mid 19th century, lemon was used as a slang term for a person of a tart disposition, which means、tart. like bitter. Yeah, tart is like bitter.、Uh... Um, exactly. So,、um, more importantly, for our purposes. Like slang for a sucker or a loser、uh, or kind of a dumb person, easily taken advantage of.、Uh, it actually has been suggested that this latter use comes from the idea that it is easy to suck or squeeze the juice out of such a person. So it's just a dumb person or a stupid person. Yeah, like an idiot.、Uh... So, so, for example, <laughs> I don't know why it is. Rich men's sons are always the worst lemons in creation. Was a phrase by the writer P. G. Wodehouse so, in like, 1931. Yeah, the dumbest. Exactly. Ah, oh, 好的好的 Get it? Yeah. And in 1909, the word lemon was also firmly established in American slang as a term for something worthless. So, especially a broken or useless item fobbed off. As an unsuspecting customer. Ah,、uh, 好，来这么一长段给大家解释一下啊。其实呢，就是讲说 lemon 这个词呢，可以用来形容 sucker 或者 loser 或者是 dumb person， 就是蠢蠢的笨蛋那种人。就是或者也可以讲无所作为、无用的人。比如说他刚刚讲的，他刚 quote 引用的那句话呢，就是说，呃，不知道为什么，但是呢，因为某种原因，总感觉那种。富二代啊，就是 rich man， 就是有钱人的孩子呢，总是好像笨笨的。Exactly. No offensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So, so it kind of the word kind of evolved、um, when the word came to America. It evolved around the 1900s、um, into what it is today about something being worthless or being broken or、um, you know faulty. Wow, that's definitely a very interesting origin of the phrase. That is some great information. I don't think I would have ever learned that before. Well, you are very welcome.、Um, <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to know about the term lemon? Uh, how about some other words that are related to it? Well, there's a word called a counterfeit. Counterfeit. That basically means like a fake or a fraud. Actually, while living in China, I have come across a lot of counterfeits, especially shoes. I believe the counterfeit shoe market in China is huge.、Uh, I actually have a couple of pairs myself. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 那这个词呢 ，counterfeit， 还有点长啊，给大家拼写一下，它是 c o u n t e r f e i t， 读成 counterfeit。它的意思呢，其实就是啊、呃，伪造的或者仿造的，假冒的。所以如果说我们要讲那种仿的鞋子 ，A 货，你就可以讲，比如说 counterfeit。Shoes,、yeah. or the counterfeit money, 假钱 Or like, oh yeah, definitely counterfeit、oh. money. That's like a real thing.、Um, oh. Or like,、um, you could say like they're fraudulent or like fake shoes. You could just say fake, yeah, fake shoes because it's. 更加简单 ，simpler， 发音起来更加简单一些。And I can actually give you an example, like, um, because of the word f for fake and fraud. We can add the f to change a word、um, that has a letter that begins with a vowel. So, for example, Oakley is a very、um, very popular sunglass brand. So, sunglasses are very easy to counterfeit. So, all we do is just put the f in front of Oakley and say Oakley. Yeah. Hey, you got a nice pair of Oakleys there. How much were they? Oh, they're like five dollars. Instead, <laughs> usually they would be like two hundred dollars. That's interesting. 给大家解释一下啊，比如说有一个非常啊、uh, 火、非常有名的这个眼镜的牌子呢，叫 Oakley, right? 嗯啊，然后呢，那我们会怎么做呢？如果说你一眼就看出来这个眼镜是假的，你就可以在前面加上一个 f， 因为 fake 和 fraud 全部都是 f 开头的，所以你就可以把它讲成 Oakley。意思就是说，哎，你这个假眼镜多少钱呢？嗯、mm, ，Yeah, exactly. 嗯、mm. ，So, um, also there's a good word that I I often use myself. It's called a rip off or knock off. So this is basically the same word as counterfeit. Um, it's not the same saying as I got ripped off, but it's used as a noun. So, for example, a good sentence would be, "This is a rip off." Or knockoff of the new Stephen Curry Four basketball shoe. 哎，这个 rip off 如果说 used as a verb， 它是不是也是 deprive somebody or something by deceit? Yes, exactly. So, so, so I got ripped off. 就是 I got ripped off is like he cheated me. 啊、uh, ，所以就是我被骗了，我上当了。啊，但如果说你把它做一个名词在用呢，其实就是讲这个东西是 faked， yeah, 是吧？ Right. 就是假的。Exactly. So 就就被敲竹杠了。<笑> yeah, exactly. You got it. Perfect. Yeah. 所以如果说你要讲这个东西是假的呢，你也可以讲说 this is a rip off 或者 this is a knock off. Yeah, but you want to be like more specific, like say this is a a rip off of、uh, the MacBook, my new iPhone or MacBook Pro.、Uh, so you just rip off off something. Yeah, like、uh, a knockoff. So which basically means a a counterfeit of something. Oh, I think today's episode is very useful for you. In this very mad world of fake and fake words, these phrases are very useful. Of course, I recommend you to use them. If you have the ability, you should use them. Of course, I recommend you to use them. 建议大家啊，如果有能力的话，尽量还是要支持正品。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语、听说、读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介。或者评论区领取哦，你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Ah,、uh, I think that's good enough for today. Thanks so much, Peter.
That's my pleasure, Carol. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> 好，那我们今天这期节目呢，就和大家聊到这里了。我们下次再见吧。All、bye、right. Bye. See you guys later.